Leticia, we haven't had uh, much response lately from what uh, Secretary Blinken has talked about. Uh, we know that in the past, uh, you know, Ethiopia has denied uh, having committed these atrocities. But what are the findings of Human Rights Watch in Ethiopia? Well, in, in many ways, um, what we have found in the course of our research over the last two years um, mirrors a lot of what was determined yesterday. Um, in terms of war crimes, we have also documented war crimes by all sides, including by the Tigrayan forces against Amhara communities during their offensive in the Amhara region in late 2021, including sexual violence, um, extrajudicial killings, um, and including attacks on Eritrean refugees. So war crimes by all sides. But similarly also to the determination made by Secretary of State Blinken, we have documented alongside Amnesty International an ethnic cleansing campaign conducted by the Amhara regional forces in the zone of Western Tigre. Now, this is an ongoing ethnic cleansing campaign. As we speak, we continue to receive reports of Tigrayans in that zone being forcibly expelled. And so this is a community which has been very much left alone throughout the conflict and has faced serious, serious violations. And this is where, in many ways, the findings, the determination yesterday from the U.S. government was so important to, to those communities in particular. Leticia, you paint a very grim picture. So what's next for the survivors? I mean, it's critical that there continues to be a series of avenues to ensure redress. In our interviews, not only in northern Ethiopia with different communities affected by the conflict there, but also by different communities that are affected by the ongoing um, insurgency and counterinsurgency campaign in western Oromia, for example, where both Oromo communities but also minority communities have faced terrible abuses as well. We continue to hear and receive requests and calls for credible investigations and accountability. And this is where it is critical that for the U.S. words to really mean something for the communities on the ground, it's now clear for there to be concrete action to ensure credible investigations, which have been hampered throughout this conflict, but also to pave the way for meaningful accountability, including as part of the a transitional justice process.